So in this video, I'm about to tell y'all why Portia Williams is likely the smartest person in the room. Oh, yes. We're going to discuss why Portia Williams is likely the smartest person in the room. OK. Also, we got to talk about whether or not dentist was flirting with the cousin Storm, Stormy, Stormzy, Storm. Um when she worked at his at his lounge okay we're going to talk about all of that we got a lot to it's a lot to cover up in this fight for the robe okay this fight for this versace robe this first safe robe you know what i should have put on my robe today anyway let's go ahead and get on into the thing y'all welcome back happy monday y'all listen y'all ready to discuss Porsche's family mess <laughs> cuz i am okay i am now take my organic greens y'all now you know what in honor okay of of uh of the latest who said it and who lied okay we're gonna um go ahead and bring back the uh lie to me discount for 30 percent off okay let's go ahead and keep the 30 percent off sale going because there's some more lies in this place it's some it's some it's some holes in this house it's some lies in this place so we're gonna discuss all that um, we're going to rate the episode. We're going to get into that. And don't think I, I have not seen that mess going on with the love and marriage Huntsville folk. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that in another video because it's just too much to discuss and too much to cover in this. So, um, we're going to hold off on that. Now, if you're in this good chatterization, let us know. Okay. Let us know where you're watching from. Cause y'all know, I like to know. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, you, you already know. I didn't seen it. Okay, I didn't seen it all. We're gonna discuss. We're gonna do a little discussion on it later. Okay. Um, we got London in, in the building. Okay. <laughs> Pardon my petty said, what room you in, Richie? <laughs> I'm about to tell you. Hold on, hold on for it. Wait, just wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, wait for it. Just wait for it. Um, <laughs> come on, get a little Mercer going up in here. Get a little Mercer going up in here. You know what I'm saying? We know how we do it. You know, got the CMOS back in stock. Okay, 30% off. That's how we do it. Um, who else is in the building? Columbus, Ohio, Virgin Islands. I see you. Louisville, Kentucky. Come on, y'all. Come on. Oakland is in the NOLA, baby. Louisville, South Boston. South Boston, baby. Hey, B Moore's in the building. Indianapolis, North Carolina. Um, come on, Brooklyn in the house. Mississippi, North Kekilaki. All right. All right. So, um, <laughs> yes, I'm stirring these greens instead of stirring the pot, baby. Stirring up these greens. I had a little, um, little bit to drink yesterday. So, you know, I got to get that stuff out of my system. All right. So, um, let's get into it. Now, I told y'all at the top of this video that I felt like Portia might just be the smartest person in the room. Let me tell you why. Portia's family mess is executive produced by none other than Portia herself. So if you if you if you if you are skeptical about the mess that we see and play out on the scene, it's all orchestrated by Portia Williams herself. OK, now it just sometimes. And that's why I feel like a lot of people feel like this is all a scheme that Todd set up. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I mean, the, the the person that benefits the most from this is not only the star of the show, but she's also the executive producer of the show. So now you're getting paid for your mess, okay? You're getting paid for your mess. This is the perfect um advertising, ad advertisement for your book, okay, that just came out at the same time, all right? So you got that going to increase these sales. And you're getting paid double off the back of this whole situation because you're the executive producer. And you were able to put your family on and put their mess out there too. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. Smart. Th these are some smart plays right here. But watch, 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 watch this. Okay. Now we didn't see how that worked out for Braxton Family Values. Okay. So portion. Let me go ahead and tell you why you're putting your cousins on, why you're putting your sister on, why you're putting your assistants on, and you're putting these this person on and that person on, Simon on, Dennis on, Mama Gina on, everybody on. Make sure, okay, it don't turn ugly, all right? Because it has the potential to turn ugly at any point in time when you start bringing the, um, the family members into a mess of a situation 
So you really got to keep things under control and y'all got to have some type of agreements behind the scene to make sure don't nobody get out of pocket. OK. We didn't see this backfire. OK. Mm hmm. We didn't see it backfire. And I don't want to see that happen to y'all family. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. Because. You just got to you just got to be aware of that. Now, I know you're making double, triple and quadruple off this off this jamboree right now. But, you know, these are these are the things that you guys to be careful of, because fame can do some things to people, especially family that ain't never had that level of fame before. OK. And I'm, what I'm speaking is, is real talk right now, because we, we've all we've all seen it happen. So just be careful of the mess that y'all spilling and be careful that don't nobody take it too far because it only takes one. It only takes one bad apple to ruin that tree. OK. We also got to talk about in this episode whether or not. OK, when Storm. Oh, California cutie came on in. Said, hey, Richard, did you see Peter came for Porsche at one of her book signings? Oh, yes, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about it. We talked about that last week. We're going to talk about it today, though. We're going to talk about it today, too, because trust and believe I got some things to say. Um, now, we're going to talk about whether or not um, Storm um, had done, whether or not Dennis was flirting with her when she worked for him as a hostess. OK, she was either a hostess or bottle personnel. With, OK, and I'm going to tell you the truth. If you if you listen, I don't, probably Atlanta, Miami, New York and L.A. And maybe Houston or something like that, I would imagine, is where bottle personnel, OK, can rake up on the money. OK, they can rake up on that cash if they're good. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They can they can get that. They can get that coin. So when Dennis says that, you know, Storm wasn't about her business and he had to, I guess, let her go or fire her or whatever. In my mind, I'm like, well, girl, what was you doing wrong? Because that's a nice little bag that you could be, you know. Making on a, on a on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? So. The allegation is from Storm that Dennis was doing the, the old man flirt with her, okay, according to her. And she was not trying to have it, but this was low-key allegedly before Dennis ever got with Portia. But what we get from Dennis is that um, Storm, Storm is lying, okay, and it didn't go down like that. So... It's left up to our interpretation to figure out who you believe and who you don't believe. In the chatterization, we're going to take a little poll. Let me see who y'all believe, Dennis or Cousin Storm. Okay? Dennis or Cousin Storm. Just write it in the chat and let me know who you believe. And, and if you if you, if you you got time, why? But just let me know who you believe and who you don't believe. Okay? Um... You know, the truth is usually somewhere mixed in betwixt the two. Just keeping it real. Um, Dennis, Dennis. A lot of y'all believe Dennis. Ain't it interesting how this show has made Dennis almost look like a hero? Yeah, Crystal, I feel like I need more info before I decide. Mm hmm. I need a little bit more info before I make that decision. OK. Um. OK, a lot of y'all side with Dennis. I ain't surprised. OK, um, side note, it was also noted that. In a previous episode, uh, Lauren kind of said that Portia is surrounded by yes men. And when the camera panned around, they definitely panned to Lauren W., which is Portia's new assistant, and Storm 
as being one of Porsche's yes people. And Storm was real heavy on the defense of Porsche last night. So I don't know. I don't know what that means, but, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. So let's go ahead and get into the episode. Um, let's talk about it. Oh, side note, at 2 p.m., guys, we will be, of course, talking about Salt Lake City and how the girls are trying to take down Mary Cosby. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Um, now we get into the episode. This episode is all about the Versace robe that Dennis was wearing. You guys can see it here. You can see the back of it, at least in the, in the, in the, um, thumbnail. I wanted to make sure I captured that. Um, let's get into it. So we start the episode at, oh, 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 before we get into this episode, let's rate it real quick. Just, just give me a quick rating one on the scale of one to 10. That's how we do it on this channel. We rate the episode one to 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Um, I'm going to give this episode a 9.5, honestly. I'm going to give it a 9.5. It gave to me last night. Um, there's this cockamamie beef about this robe, I, which to me seems like a plot point, but um, or a MacGuffin, what they call it. And a MacGuffin is basically, in TV and movie terms, what they call a thing that um incites the drama or the or is what everybody is after it's the thing that creates the chaos in a show okay i believe that's i think i got that correct with that um so let's um let's move forward with that okay yeah it, it felt it felt it was given uh somebody said it it was given forced it was given forced to me and, and we'll talk about why in a second okay we start off at lauren's house Londy comes over to recap the barbecue Londy thought it was awkward that everyone was praising simon and their gram grandma was 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 getting all up calling dennis a playboy now Londy, who they have made it a point to say every time we see her on the screen they say he's Londy. It's Portia cousin on her daddy's side. So what we're seeing in this show now is we are seeing a sort of breakdown betwixt the two sides of, of Portia's family, which would be Portia's mom's side and then Portia's father's side, okay? And Londy kind of calls Portia's mom's side of the family country bumpkins. In fact, I think that, that was definitely the word that she used was country bumpkins, okay, up in this jamboree. Now, Lauren's mom then comes in. They recap how fast the engagement is happening and that Dennis is still in his feelings. I kind of felt like this scene was more or less meant to introduce Miss Lisa, who is Lauren's mom, um, because she was gone in, in 60 seconds. OK. Um, they start to talk about everything that they want to do on the trip. And we learn that Dom, which is going to be important later, was is one of Portia's former assistants. And he is coming on the trip, too. OK. See, to me, this is why, why this felt forced is because now that I think back on this episode, they made specific mention of Dom coming. Dom will be the one later on that's going to be carrying the bag that has Dennis's robe in it, which he's going to complain to Portia that he they got him carrying Dennis's robe. Now she's going to be upset about the fact that somebody then went up in her house while she was in the house and took the robe. I, I mean, I don't know what she's going to do when they find out that they took the furs that Peter after. OK. Hmm. And ain't it interesting? Ain't Y'all didn't find it the least bit interesting or maybe it was just kismet, you know, uh, happenstance that last week the lady is coming after Portia talking about some furs with a sign book in her hand. And this week, we get the uh, girls running up out of Portia's house, carrying all of Dennis's furs. The squirrel, the, the oxtail, the, the fox, the wolf, the wolverine fur, every type of fur that you can imagine. They running up out the house with it. And just last week, the lady was coming after Portia at the book signing with her signed book. For um for 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 protesting because she didn't want Portia to own or wear the first. 
what is suspicious to y'all? It, it was just suspicious to me because I was like, now, timing ain't usually that good on these types of things. And I ain't never known the people to be running up after Porsche about some furs and whatnot. I just ain't never known it, especially because at one point in time. Now, I don't know that this has anything to do with one thing or another, because I know she's not probably not vegan no more. But especially at one time, she was trying to be a baby vegan and all that kind of stuff like that. It just don't make no sense to me. So I'm just looking at the timing of these things and I'm like, ooh, 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 suspect. OK, it's a little sus over here. Mm hmm. That was just me. I mean, it could just be me. Sometimes, you know, I like to um, I like to make my own little connections. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. I'm willing to be wrong. But it was just the timing of it that was just kind of crazy to me. Anyway, um, Lauren wants Dennis and Simon on the trip. They love Dennis, Londi and, and, and Lauren. They love Dennis. And the rationale, they, they love Dennis so much that they want to put Dennis up in the room with them. That's how much they love that man. Anyway, um, their rationale is that Portia cannot fully blend her family. OK. Um, and, Unless Dennis is a part of the mix. OK. And they're going to use Dennis's Versace robe as the bait to get him to come on the trip. OK. Now, Lauren and Lundy head over to Portia's house. OK. And Lauren got the mask on her face. OK. Like so. Covering her face up. So we won't know who she is. OK. So she's in her disguise like this, okay? It's about the equivalent of me standing in front of the camera with this towel in front of my face. Y'all can't see me and you don't know who I is, okay? So her and Londi sneaks up in the, in the Porsche's house. Now, granted, this could definitely happen. This could definitely happen. I'm gonna tell you why. Because production is typically loud, okay? I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. P- production is loud. When they're in your house, okay? They loud and they in when they're in your house. And I don't mean that they loud purposely, but they just it's stuff going on. It's equipment moving, this, that, and the third, people talking over here. You got the production room in the back. You know, it's all kinds of things going on. So it is very likely that they could have snuck up in there in their mask, okay? And ran up and through all up and through her house and found the the box with Dennis's Versace robe. I mean, the way Portia is 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 idolizing this robe, you would think she would have had it upstairs in her room, right next to her bed. But that it won't there. Okay, it was down. I think it was downstairs. Or well, I don't know where they was creeping and crawling to, but wherever they was, okay, they then found the the apple bottom jeans, the boots with the fur. Um, they found everything. Okay, all Dennis's furs and stuff like that. They took those too. Okay. Cause they Peter now, um. So they, they 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 go on up and through there. They do that. Portia in another scene, all right, is prepping Simon a Nigerian breakfast. Um, hold on, we got a super chat. Kalika says, "I just feel like it was wrong of them to take stuff without her permission, but Portia was being too extra about that robe. I think she just wants to hold on to things of his because she ain't over him. Th- that what it looked like." That's what it looked like, Kalika. I mean, if I'm in a relationship with you, okay, let's just talk about it real quick. If I'm in a relationship with you and you dead set on holding another man's robe at the house, I'm looking at you crazy, okay? I'm looking at you crazy, and actually, I'm seeing red flags. I'm actually leaving, okay? I'm actually leaving. I'm gone. Until you sort out this robe situation, don't talk to me no more because it don't make no sense. Um, JD says, I don't care what it is or whose it is. Don't come in my house taking stuff without me knowing it. All right. Um, you know, they didn't they didn't crept and crawled all through that place. Uh, the Hicks world says the robe was on the back of her chair in her in her bathroom. Oh, she's still is she still wearing the robe? The first one, the baby. 
Oh, Lord. They was all up and through that house. Okay. So the first is in the basement. She has a closet full of full of all his stuff. The camera showed it. What in the me You know what? You know what? <laughs> Luscious Lee says, Portia doing voodoo with that robe, child. <laughs> Trying to bring that. Well, it worked. He owned the show. Allegedly. Uh, Lukisha says, thank you for the birthday wishes. It seems as if Lauren got a crush on a hot dog cane. Is the hot dog wrapped in bacon? Everybody like a hot dog wrapped in bacon. I don't know. Okay, so... So, Portia, she's preparing the Nigerian breakfast for Simon and Miss Mama Diane. She recaps the meeting with Sherman, uh, aka the shaman, and Aunt Liz that Lauren wants, um, and the fact that Lauren wants the men to come on the, the 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 healing trip, including Dennis. But Portia, we learn, has still not told Simon, but she's going to tell him today. Now. She wants Simon to get to know Dennis so they can co-parent. Miss Diane is worried about Mama Gina, and she don't trust herself to hold back. See, I, I got to tell y'all something. I love me some Miss Diane. No, don't nobody better not say nothing bad about Miss Diane. I love me some Miss Diane. I might love Miss Diane more than I like Portia. But Miss Mama Diane, you talked all that stuff. All that stuff. And then you ain't even go on a trip. Now, that make it look like Miss Mama Gina was telling the truth. That's what it makes you, that's what it makes the situation look like. Now, I ain't saying it, but it sure does look like it. Now, I get it. If you listen, when people fall ill and stuff like that, obviously we don't want nothing bad to happen to them. But I'm just I'm just saying she did all that talking. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about. Going down there with Miss Mama Gina. I don't know what I might do. Nothing. Okay, because you're going to be at home, okay? Away from the mess. I ain't mad at it. I am not mad at it, though. But, you know, if because if you're sick, you got to rest. Especially in this day and age. And if you're sick, don't put yourself in no foreign country around nobody else in the middle of a panorama, okay? But I was just saying. We had to be real about it, all right? Got to be real about it. And I love me some Miss Mama Diane. Don't nobody better not say nothing bad about Miss Mama Diane. Um, meanwhile, Portia burning the plantains. Simon feels like Portia is constantly taking care of him, and he ain't ever experienced that before. You know, he has an interesting way of shading Fallon without actually saying her name, okay? As well as any of the other wives that he had before as well. Good thing he found somebody that'll take care of him now, okay? She gonna cook and burnt plantains and all. Anyway, Nat, who is Portia's friend, also comes over. Uh, Miss Mama Diane don't even let Portia uh, try to tell her, try to try to tell Simon about Dennis coming on the trip or him coming on the trip. She tell her she spilled the beans herself. Then Portia tip tap tap dances and tiptoes and 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 punani pops all around trying to tell simon that they also want dennis to come on this trip too but simon to everyone's surprise is just said you i don't mind if dennis comes because he appreciates the way that she and dennis are co-parenting baby pj now again mama mama diane is worried about miss gina coming i don't know why okay i don't know why i don't know why um Simon thinks that she needs to, uh, Miss Mama Gina needs to see reality in action and not be left off to the side to let her, let her mind wander and percolate and come up with all kinds of crazy scenarios where the people are attacking Dennis and calling him a playboy. Uh, Santana says, maybe Miss Diane didn't want to be around Lauren's mom. Remember, she had a problem with her in the past. But you know what, though? I felt like Lauren had came out and said something on social media the other day that they, that they mamas didn't have no issues with each other. So I don't know. Thank you, boo. Okay, so look. Londa and Lauren decide to run up on Dennis at his club wearing his, uh, his, his furs. And all I'm thinking about, where is Peter? Because they're going to get them. Um, he immediately recognizes his furs and they let him know that they want him in Mexico. And he if he comes to Mexico... He can get his Versace robe back, okay? Um, 
he says he's going to think about going to Mexico, meaning Messi in Mexico. Um, you know, he says, and he shades the family by saying that, listen, in his confessional, he says, they always talking about healing, but ain't never healed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Dennis, baby. That, that Dennis is, I mean, he be shooting from all cylinders. All right. Um, uh, they take shots and he says he's gonna think about it, but we all know he's going. I mean, you on the cast, what would they do if you wasn't there? It wouldn't be no mess. You, you know, Dennis is the Kenya to uh her portion to, to Portia, okay, to a certain degree, but with the exception of the fact that there's still some love there betwixt the two of them. I don't care what they say. That's how I feel. Uh, everybody's packing to go on a trip. They get a packing montage. Portia is sitting with her, her assistant, Lauren, and her mom, while Dennis, they keep flashing back. So they're doing this juxtaposition type of situation. Well, Portia's getting ready with her mom and with um, Lauren, and she's recapping the meeting with Mama, Mama Gina. Mama Gina is out with Dennis trying to find some crystals that um Lauren had been told him that she need to that he need to bring that they need to bring with them on the trip to create some type of good energy. But Miss Mama Gina is looking for anything that'll ward away fake people, i.e. Portia. Okay. That's her words, not mine. You know, I didn't say that. Um mm -mm. uh, Portia is recapping the conversation with, with Miss Mama Gina and that and then she says that Miss Mama Gina accused her of cheating and that it was Miss Mama Diane that told Miss Mama Gina. OK, so Miss Di Miss Diane says, no, that was a lie. And now she's worried about how the trip would turn out. OK. Um, meanwhile, Mama Gina recaps the conversation with Portia and she says that Portia probably did cheat. But Dennis is like, well, why didn't you ever tell me about this conversation that you this alleged conversation that you had with Miss Mama Diane? Um, and then Miss Mama Gina said it was well, it was when they broke up. If it was when they broke up, it don't really matter what she was doing with who. OK, they was broken up. I mean, what is this? It's not this is not how I mean, once the relationship ends, you're free to do whatever you want. I mean, that's the truth of the matter. It is. I mean, what are we talking about? Um, Dennis then says. Portia was not a saint when they were still together, and that's all he's going to say. Which I thought was interesting because in my mind, I was like, Y'all producers, y'all not gonna ask him to elaborate on that? I mean, what? But at the end of the day, I was thinking to myself, Well, duh, Pro Portia's the executive producer. Of course, he's not gonna elaborate on that. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, it's the day of the trip, and everybody's get, getting in their sprinter vans. Aunt Liz, you know, she's the aunt, elder aunt. She says she's okay with Mama G Mama Gina since they're the closest in age, along with Simon. <laughs> now, the shade here, okay, the shade here is that Aunt, aunt Liz is 70. <laughs> she's 70, okay? So she equating Simon, who is 57, to be around about her age. I was just, you know, mm-mm. I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, we will not age shame on this channel. So then we learned that um, Miss Mama Gina ain't going to have to worry about Miss Mama Diane because Miss Mama Diane is in pain and she's not going to make it on the trip. All right. Dennis is acting like he's not coming, but he does get to the airport. And next time we see everybody, they in the limos, okay? And that's where we get Dom, Portia's ex-assistant, who still is somehow carrying her stuff, uh, lets Portia know on the flight that they got him carrying Dennis's robe. So she wants to know who came up in her house and got his robe, okay? Because she knew she kept it in the, in the room next to the arm, um, wh wherever she sleep or whatever that is. And she now she go, now she upset because now she missing a piece of the love of her life, Okay. Allegedly. Anyway, um, they all get to the resort. All right. Lauren divides up the rooms in a real interesting fashion. She has Dennis in a suite with her and Londi. And Dennis is like, I want my own room. Like, what that look like as me as a grown man living and staying in a room with y'all? 
And to be quite honest with you, I didn't get it either. This man is single, and I'm sure he is going to be ready to mingle. I mean, he is always looking for some work, okay? Which is like the most demeaning term for a woman I've heard. I've heard, I mean, I've heard worse terms, but I mean, still, that to me is just like, what they refer to you as, okay? You referring to them as work. They probably referring to you as a bag. Let's be real about it, okay? So anyway, he ready to get his own room, and I feel like he he definitely deserves his own room, okay? Now, after he tosses her and Lauren into the pool to try to get revenge on her for putting him in the room with her, he then uh, calls a little date on the phone who he has invited to come on down to the Mexico to spend a little time with him. That's really why he wants that room by himself. So he can, you know, you know, spend a little time with Miss W-O-R-K work in case you didn't understand. Anyway, <clears throat> Portia and Dennis, um, no, Portia and Simon. See, this is how much it's, the show is about Portia and Dennis. Well, even when Simon's in the room, I'm still writing Dennis in my notes. Anyway, Portia and Simon are talking about how it feels, how this whole situation feels like a family reunion, except as Simon says, plus a couple of other people, okay? Meaning Miss Mama Gina and, and, and Dennis. He says he expects respect out of this situation. I don't know how. How do you expect res respect when most of this show is about Dennis? I don't get it. Anyway, everybody is ready for dinner while Dennis is texting his, his female friend that's coming down. I refuse to actually call this woman work, okay? Because I think it's just, who says that? Anyway, Lauren meets with Lena, the Sherman, okay, before dinner. And everybody arrives along with Dennis and Mama Gina. They're going to meditate before dinner. going to slap some oils on their hands, smell it, smack it around. Then they're going to sit down at the table and talk about their intentions, okay? Portia feels like her spirit is smoking, okay? Could it be from hookah? No, no. It's because there's some games being played at the table. It's some games being played all around her. She don't appreciate the fact that somebody came up in her house, stole a robe that don't belong to her, and then gave it back to this and, and was threatening to give it back to his rightful owner. Okay? She mad. She mad because you don't do that to Portia. You don't steal her ex's robe from her house and threaten to give it back to her ex. You just don't do it. I don't care if she got a new fiance sitting on the right side of her and the left side of her. That ain't what you do. Okay? You don't do it. No, you don't. And Portia is mad about it. Now, she feels like why y'all gotta blackmail this man and, and 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 bribe him to get him down here when he should want to be here genuinely. Okay. Lauren really don't care if she upset or not. The goal was to get Dennis down there, and Lauren is a by any means necessary type of girl. And I'm here for it. Do what you got to do. You gave me an assignment. I got it done. Next. Okay. Um, Portia is upset and she is triggered down into the depths of her spirit and her soul. Okay. Because he needed a robe to come on the trip. Nalanda tries to explain to her what happened. But Portia feel like it's all a game. It was a scheme that Todd set up. That Todd is working overtime. Okay. Londy feels like the barbecue was a game, okay? And by game, I'm assuming she means everybody going around the table front and like they was really like all on, on Team Simon. And I'm thinking to myself, like, y'all y'all talking about these games. Where is the Monopoly table? Because I don't see no games being played. I see some now. I see some shenanigans, but it ain't the same type of games that y'all talking about. Anyway, um... Londy basically says if she was Mama Gina or Dennis... After last week, she would not come around anymore, okay? Londy, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to predict in my mind who could end up being the weak link in this situation and, and at some point take things too far. I don't want to call them because hopefully they ne that never happens with them. You know what I'm saying? But... It's always one person. I don't know who it's going to be. And I'm just trying to watch and look at with my eyes to see what I can see. Okay. Um. Anyway, Storm keeps chiming in on Portia's behalf. So then um, 
Dennis and Londi want her to butt out of the conversation. So that's when we get this notion that we knew that Dennis knew Storm before. Is it Stormy? Stormy. Okay, Stormy. Thank you. That Dennis knew Stormy before he met Portia or sometime. Okay. And she worked for him as a hostess or a, a bottle personnel. And according to Dennis, she won't doing the job right. She won't she won't serving them bottles the way she was supposed to. They won't making it to the table or something. I don't know. And he had to let her go. Mm -hmm. Now, according to Stormy, who gets her own confessional, she did work for Dennis, but she found him a little bit too flirty and a little too old. Okay. <laughs> she didn't appreciate all that. So she had to hot she had to high step it on out of there. Now, when we get back to Dennis, he refused that and basically says it was all a lie. Okay. He says that everybody, everything she's saying, it's all a lie. Okay. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. So who's telling the truth here? Unfortunately, we will probably never know. Okay. Um, Santana says the dinner was triggering for me. Portia was too upset. She didn't even invite Dennis. So I don't understand why she said it was about PJ and about healing the family. I don't understand the logic. I didn't understand the logic either, to be honest with you. I just don't get it. And why is why is Simon still just sitting here at the table all quiet, like just sitting there letting these people argue about this robe? Why I would you I would not I would be questioning my significant other. Looking at her crazy, asking her, why do you care about this man's robe? Okay. If you don't want to be here, you ain't got, I mean, listen, like it, it is what it is. It's more than it's deeper than that. That's what it come across like. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lisa says Portia was with both of them at the same. Ooh, see, you know what? I <laughs> alleged, alleged, alleged from Lisa. Okay. Oh, and Bolo, a mess child. This stuff is so unbelievable. I just watched it as a scripted show. Listen. I told y'all I call it Portia family mess. You know what I'm saying? Um, good, that's what it is. But she getting paid for double, triple, quadruple. All right. Um, no one understands what Portia's issue is with this robe. Nobody does. I don't either. Mama Gina is off to the side, looking like she' about ready to fight. Okay. Uh, she two seconds away from ripping somebody's weave off and my assessment would be that it's probably going to be Porsche's, okay? And I don't know at this point if anybody would stop her outside of Stormy. Londi and Stormy end up going at it. Aunt Liz doesn't understand why Porsche is upset about Dennis's robe. Neither do I, okay? Stormy stands up and asks what Londi gonna do. What you gonna do? Now, Stormy, Stormy's a cute girl. She is. Oh, yes, indeed. She's cute. But I don't know. Londi don't look like she take no mess, okay? Londi ain't about to get up because I believe Londi know if she get up, she probably going to mop the floor with her. And it's nothing, I mean, you know, Stormy, it's nothing against you. It's just that some, some, some people you just look at and you just know, I'm not going to mess with you today, okay? And Londi look like she the one, the two and the three, okay? That'll reach out and touch somebody. Okay. Robo arm. <laughs> Snatched. Okay. So um, I don't think she wants that little that 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 bit of smoke. Okay. She go and stay down where you're at. Stand up down there where you're at. Don't come no closer. Okay. So anyway, they're still arguing. Everybody. Lauren threatens that if anybody else mentions this robe again, that they can go home. Because Dennis still wants his robe back. Portia don't want to give it to him. Simon just sitting there, stuck on stoop. Um, AH5 says, love how Lauren handled the robe conversation. We keep, we keep hearing Portia must be in control, so things will go off the rails soon. Why is Simon there? You make a lot of good points, AH. Lauren, really, honestly, for the most part, comes across as the voice of reason on this show. Um... And as sort of the real hero here, in my opinion, just my opinion, there's something about Lauren that is endearing. 
And I think that we as the audience root for her. She seems genuine. She seems like she has good intentions. And she does really feel like she's on a journey. It's it, it's not highlighted as much as Portia's, but there is a journey there with Lauren that is more, a lot more intimate than, and, and quiet and is a necessary grounding force for this show. It really is. Because, because this show is chaotic. It's chaotic. But I will tell you guys that I prefer chaotic shows these days. I don't know. I, call me crazy. I prefer chaotic shows because I feel like there's just so much going on. It's it's all it's almost bat crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's literally bat crazy. But even in all of the craziness, you do need some characters on there with some meat, with some heart. And I definitely think that that is Lauren. It, there is there is just something about Lauren when you're watching this show that we saw so much of her last night. I almost feel like I saw more of Lauren last night than I did of Portia, to be quite honest with you. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing a lot more of Lauren's journey play out on this show. And, you know, again, we can go. We listen, we have fun. We talk about these shows. And it, it, you, y'all know, y'all know, the, y'all know, y'all know the routine. But, you know, when we look at these shows on a deeper level, we want to see a character like Lauren and we want to see her journey. and We want to see her get to another space. Because clearly there's something that she's also going through that she's going to get from this um, healing journey as well. Again, correct, Candice. It is refreshing. It is definitely refreshing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Okay. Right. That part. Um, Bruce said Portia just posted the dinner scene from Color Purple and referenced it to last night's episode at the dinner. I don't understand Simon's role because it seems more like Dennis is still her man. That's how it comes across. That is exactly how it comes across. Like it's the Portia and Dennis show with Lauren in the middle. You know? Um, So guys, that's our review of Portia's family mess from last night, episode three. They entertained yet again. They did not disappoint. And I have to tell you guys again, shout out to Portia. I mean, she pulled, she has pulled this thing off. Um, I'm not sure how many more episodes we'll be getting, probably three or four. I, I thought it was an eight episode thing, but I, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, they're the stars. They are the stars of the show. Um <laughs> um yeah so that's the show we'll see what happens next week it looks like it's going to be a lot more drama and i'm I'm super excited about it um again guys we will be going over um salt lake city how the girls are taking down mary okay whitney's trying to gather the girls to take down miss mary cosby we're gonna talk about it and uh, make sure, guys, listen, make sure you go on, head on, head, head on over and get yourself some CMOS senses back in stock. 30%, everything in the store, 30% off. Just use the code lot to me, okay? Lot to me. You know, tell me a lot. Go ahead. Go on, lot to me. 30% off. Um, and actually, the orders that were placed yesterday, I think a good portion of them have already been shipped out from my fulfillment center. So we on the roll, baby. We on that roll, Okay. So listen, make sure you guys keep it locked to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You guys are everything to me. And with that being said, we will catch you in the next video.